Some of the bravest and brightest human beings in our country serve in the United States military. These are disciplined and dedicated individuals willing to give their time, energy, and even their lives to the ideals that our nation is founded upon. Yet we are failing the men and women who serve this country because we have ignored, tolerated, and at times even supported a culture that has allowed sexual misconduct, including sexual harassment and sexual assault, to run rampant in every military branch. But where there is a problem, there is a solution, and that solution is sex rules. Our focus today is really just being a good human to yourself, to others, and to your fellow service men and women. Sex Rules is an engaging, interactive, customizable DOD SAPRO supportive lecture that addresses consent, healthy relationships, sexual misconduct, substance use, understanding trauma, survivor resources, and more. We have thousands of overt and subtle cues. So just like we can speak different regional languages, we can also speak different physical languages. My name is Brianna Hansen. For the past two decades, I've traveled the country teaching physical, mental, and sexual health and wellness to students, civilians, and service members alike. I have a background in comedy, which means I effectively weave appropriate humor and participant interaction into difficult topics to make trainings more memorable and enjoyable. Oh, Tysus, you nailed the pronunciation. Will you say it for everybody? Just. Oh, Yeah, oh, oh I love it. This super simple acronym not only makes for a meaningful and universally recognized tattoo, but also stands for the following, which is just open communication, trust, independence, equality, and teamwork, having shared goals. I'm also a sexual assault survivor, which fuels my passion for advocacy and cultural change. And while that is not the narrative that drives the Sex Rules program, it is an important piece because it allows other survivors to see firsthand that healing and thriving are possible after an assault. Listen, you are not defined by your mistakes, just like you are not defined by your trauma. Rather than harping on reactive responses to negative behaviors, it promotes proactive ways every single service member can have a positive impact in their respective communities. But if we can begin to understand what actually happens in the brains and bodies of people who have experienced or are experiencing a traumatic event, we can have more empathy for them. It teaches the basics behind bystander intervention, defines different types of sexual misconduct, and focuses on accountability for inappropriate behavior. If you call out sexual harassment and immediately reprimand inappropriate behavior, it is genuinely the most effective way of creating sustainable, safe environments for everyone. Sex Rules doesn't just say what you should do, but why. And that why is what makes these lessons and tools easier to integrate for everyone, from new recruits to seasoned officers. Stories of sexual assault are horrific, but environments that normalize them aren't preventable. Sexual misconduct is not an issue that only affects one gender, one rank, or one demographic. It affects everyone. Bringing sex rules to your installation enhances existing SAPRA initiatives, encourages open conversations, and supports the important work that SARCs, VAs, and other advocates do on a daily basis. If we can genuinely change how we listen to people and what we expect from them, we can improve how we help them. And yes, there are dinosaur puns. I mean, how do you talk about sex and not mention the erectopus? <laughs> you literally can't. Creating a culture of trust, respect, and accountability allows the admirable individuals who serve the ability to do so effectively and honorably. The United States military has a proud history of excellence, and the people in it deserve an excellent approach to this type of life-changing and sometimes life-saving education. So let's talk sex rules, because sex rules.